Can I trust them? Are they trustworthy? They're massive frauds and these are, the, <laughs> these are the fraud kids. Just to let you know what I'm looking at, this is where we are, 86 minutes. We should definitely be cashing out. Pressure's on, Unai. Let's do it. Five minutes. Oh, God, no. Is it worth... No! Oh, God, no, please! Thank you. <laughs> Let's go, lads. If wasting more time, they're going to add on. Oh, for five minutes? No. No, 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 no. Not with Mustafi on the pitch. What? Don't cash out? Yeah. But I stand to lose £144 or I stand to make like £15. You just want to see me fall. <laughs> you want to see me crumble. I know you. You're here for the drama. Oh no. Cash out. <laughs> Two minutes. Let's go. Let's cash it in. Should we cash out? Good evening. Good evening. Oh God, no. Oh, oh God, shit. no, please. Oh God, no! Oh fucking hell. Oh god, I can't do this. I can't do this. How many seconds? Fuck! No! Good evening. Good evening. Why didn't I cash out? You fucking frauds! Oh my god! One fucking thing! <laughs> I want him out of the fucking club. He's useless, man. I swear to God. You've cost me fucking money! You ah! Fuck! Oh my God! We've got Origi doing overhead kicks! Oh. That is a massive L. Oh my God. Imagine trusting Unai Fraud Marie! Please! Please! Ah! Oh. Oh God, no, oh. <laughs> five all. We considered five against Liverpool kids. I mean, what the fuck is this? Wow, you know, if I wasn't a fucking raging alcoholic before, I will be by the end of the night. <laughs> ah. Oh wow, I mean, you just, Oh, wow! Am I the fraud for actually trusting the frauds? I thought for once! No, 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 there's no way we can't be that team. Look at that team. Martinez doesn't save your ass. You're finished at this level. Okay, Danny Ceballos. Spanish fraud. How much of a fraud are you? Are you a fraud? Are you enough? Go on. Oh my God, I knew it! I knew it! Listen, what is... Oh my God. Okay, no, incredible. Jones to put the club out of the tournament. <laughs> this was happening. Jones to win it for Liverpool. Must save. And he scores. So, yeah. Wow! 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 Wow. Tragic, isn't it? Tragic comedy. We had a two goal lead at Anfield. Twice. We're playing against a team of. Actual children. Just don't even know where to start with this. Fuck. <laughs> Let's talk about the inclusion of Meza Ozil and how Unai Emery has told the fans at first that he's ill, that he's injured, that he's not training properly, that he is training properly but doesn't fit the style. It's a decision that the club has made to leave him out. They backtracked on that completely, haven't they? And they really don't have their story straight. The thing is. Having brought him in today, we saw his quality. We saw what he can add to the side. And when taken off, we saw how little we created again. <laughs> Great game. Very entertaining. For the neutral, I would imagine that this was a delight. End-to-end, goal-mouth action. Both sides breaking each other. Physical battles all over the pitch. Some cracking finishes. Fucking quality goals that were... Worthy of winners themselves. Okay, it's a Liverpool side. Kelleher, Williams, never heard of him. Gomez, Van der Berg, and Milner. Oxford Chamberlain, Lalana, Keita, Harvey Elliott, Divock Origi, and Rian Brewster. We look at the Arsenal side, and we have Sayed Kalasinac, Robert Holding, Skodran Mustafi, Hector Bellerin. Lucas Torreira, Mesut Ozil, Ainsley Maitland-Niles, Willock, Saka and Martinelli. There's a lot of kids in there as well. 
But in all honesty, it's a very strong side. And it's a side that is more than capable of beating that Liverpool team. And at least it should be on paper. And it turned out that way in the game. I had the lead twice, we had a two goal lead twice. I think I had the lead three times even. And somehow, some way, this manager has found a way to bottle it yet again. You can say that it's just the Carabao Cup, but I'm pretty sure that Liverpool don't want to be in this either. I think they've got bigger fish to fry right now. I'm sure they'd love us to have done them the favour of knocking them out tonight. The team sheet certainly suggested as much, but oh no, somehow, some way. Martinez, he's taken a bit of a backward step there, hasn't he? He's not a kid anymore. I keep looking at him thinking, oh, he's only 22, he's got a glove. He's 27, 28. Yeah, it's time to kick on. Hector Bellerin, uh, our captain, our leader. Uh, he wasn't bad, he wasn't great. I don't know how I can say that anyone was really good when you've conceded five goals if you're part of the defence in any way, shape or form. Five minutes into the game and we've had a Mustafi own goal. It's fucking tragic comedy at its best. Rob Holding. Pretty average, if not pretty poor, to be honest. Um, not great at all. That defence should be capable of stopping Divock Origi, Rian Brewster, and some fucking kid with a haircut that is questionable at best. I remember this. I prefer to win 5-4 rather than 1-0. And at one point, the memes were coming out and the Unai Emery fans, the army of Unai Emery fans, had suddenly found its way out of the fucking woodwork because they've been hiding under rocks for quite some time now. We've scored seven goals in three days and not one. Two wins in our last eight Premier League games. One clean sheet in eight games. Only two of Arsenal's last seven goals have come from open play in the league. And tonight, it was the complete opposite. Goals fucking galore. Really, all over the place. Martinelli doing really well, popping up and getting a couple. Saka providing the assists. Ozil opening tight spaces. It was nice to watch at times. Ainsley Maitland-Niles had a great game, constantly involved. Him and Ozil seem to have a great partnership. Willock scored a fucking screamer. An absolute Scorchio belter, world-class finish. You'd probably never score another goal like that. And he's still lost. Unai Emery, let's just have a look at what he did. He's taken Kolasinac off. I think he had a bit of a knock. He also had a yellow card to his name. He's taken a Torreira, who scored a goal. And looked delighted to be involved, at least. He's taken Torreira off. And he's taken... Meza Ozil, who has an incredible assist to his name, beautiful stuff, using the momentum of the ball, making the swiftest of last minute decisions that the angle was too tight and that there was a defender coming in and he had a man there open <laughs> and doing some kind of scooped back heel assist, beautiful stuff. We had a fantastic bench with Lacazette, Socrates, Pepe, all available to win the game. But again, the cowardice comes out of Unai Emery. As Ceballos is not good enough, he's not the one. Um, and there is a reason why he's not featuring at Real Madrid right now. If he was good enough, he'd be involved. He's not actually capable of kicking the ball more than 10 yards. He's a professional footballer. And his penalty was fucking piss poor. A mad game, an absolutely mental game first fucking five minutes and the banter era commences. It's almost like the club are actually trying to create content for social media. And there are honestly times when I just sit here thinking, are they doing this on purpose? I don't know, what are you doing? This, what sorcery is this? And then I remember. Good evening, good evening. This is sourceless because we have a sourceless fraud in charge. And there is no excuse, there is no excuse for losing tonight's game when scoring five goals against Liverpool's under 12 side. Let's be honest, had you heard of some of these children? We actually may well have given a bronze card on, what's his name? Jones. Uh, we may well have given him a career because I'll be honest, he looked by average, but he came away the hero and he will get the headlines. Which is kind of irritating because the headlines really should tonight be going to Unai Emery. With what was available on the bench, with the side that you initially put out, for you to not win this game is a sackable offence. How much more proof do you need to see? 
it's more disappointment, isn't it? It's just fucking, that's what life is. Life is just one big fucking roller coaster of disappointment where you sell me hope and lead me down this fucking river. And at the end of it, what's there? Fucking hell. It's a big pile of shit, isn't it? It's the end of the fucking sewer. It's not a fucking river, it's a sewer. I'm fucking swimming in shit. What the fuck is this? I'm the lord of the frauds. <laughs> I really am. Because I believed that Arsenal would win tonight. With my whole heart, I believed. Not my whole heart, £6.51 worth of heart, right? I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm a little bit tired of Arsenal, you know? But we had a situation before the game where Mesut Ozil was being brought back in. Cream rises to the top, yeah? And you, you fucking fraud, you're going to sink to the bottom. There is no way that you can have watched tonight and not seen what Ozil can offer the side. It's very, very unique and we have to utilise it before it's too fucking late. That's about all for this time. Make sure you leave your comments down below. I will get back to as many of you as possible and I'll be back with another one tomorrow. For now though, I've been you easy and this has been fucking comical. <laughs>